Hello, my friends. The important question for you to ask yourself isn't, what am I getting? The important question for you to ask yourself is, who am I becoming? And most people are asking, what's in it for me in this deal? What am I going to get? And very few people are actually focused on the person that they are becoming. And the outcome for almost everyone who's focusing on what they're going to get, the outcome of who they're actually becoming, is a big, fat quitter, a person who just quits on everything that's important to them. And here's something that's kind of ironic about this whole deal. The ones, the very few people that focus on the person that they're becoming, they actually get more. And the people that focus on whatever it is that they're going to get, instead of who they're becoming, they get less. Except when it comes to stress, they typically have more of that and fighting and all kinds of those problems. And here's another thing that's interesting. Just about everybody is kind of uh, a little braggadocious about how open-minded they are and unique and original and there's nobody like them and all this other stuff. And at their core, it's true, but they got this facade that's complete bullshit, hiding the entire world <laughs> behind this facade because everybody's talking about how open they are and how original in this and that. All the while, they are sounding just like everybody else who talks up a great game of being so different and open and original. All the while, their focus is just like everybody else on what they're getting while they become a quitter. And that's not good. So, I hope this uh, allows you to think a little bit differently about that, and I hope that you change your focus wherever it's been. Start internalizing your focus more. Even for the benefit of others around you, there's more benefit for them. If you're a philanthropist and you like to do more to help people, you're going to be able to help people a lot more if you start internalizing your focus on who you're becoming rather than what you're going to get. And what you're going to get is going to be more and it's going to be organic instead of this forced thing that you can't really force anyway. Success, however, however you define success, is something that you attract by the person you become. If you try to chase after it, it, it eludes you. It's like trying to catch a butterfly. That's another Jim Rohn thing that he taught us. I've learned a lot from that guy. So think of it that way. It's also achievement. Think of achievement differently. You can't achieve anything. You can only grow into your goals. You can't achieve your goals. You can only grow into them. That changes your whole focus. It's, uh, it can grow into along this whole thing that, that I'm talking about here, changing your focus from the external, what you're going to get, to the internal, and who you're going to become. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job or your work, and you're going to be unusually successful. Very few people do that. Most people are doing it the complete opposite, and most people, they don't have very much, and they're stressed out and they can't get ahead, and they fight, and all these other kinds of things. So if you want what most people got, do what most people do. I'll close off with this one last bit of philosophy that's in alignment with all of this. Find out what most people are doing, how they think, what they read, how they spend their time, and run as fast as you can the opposite direction, and you will be unusually successful. And then you really will be unique. You won't just be talking a great game of how unique and different and open you are, but you actually will be. Because we all agree that actions speak louder than words, and sometimes it's inaction that speaks louder than what we say. So try that on for size, some food for thought, and let it change your focus. And um, I bet you'll have some different results. Absolutely. If you dig this video, you might like my website too. I've got a website called Fire your boss. That XYZ. Not dot com. That's the one everybody likes to go to by default, but this one is a dot XYZ. I'll prove it to you. Just go there. Fire your boss dot XYZ. I've got thousands of pieces of content that I put up there for free. You can cherry pick and dig around videos, blog posts, all to do with health, healing, happiness, philanthropy freedom, financial freedom, and how the truly rich people of the world measures their wealth by their time, not their money, but there's a relationship between time and money, and not all money is created equal. That's a huge one, and a lot of mindset training. So if you dig the content of this video and my style, you'll probably like my website a lot too, fireyourboss.xyz. And if you know somebody else who would like this, or you just feel that this video is worth sharing, please do click the share button, only if you feel this video is worthy. 
and share it and get this message out there into the world so more people start internalizing how they think, which will have a more positive effect on the external environment at the same time. Pretty cool concept. All right, take care. Next video coming very, very soon. Bye for now.